What have you seen as a correlation between trauma and disease? You know, that, to my mind, is the great question. If I were the head of NIH, I would put all my money in this. One of the greatest challenges with psychedelic research, I've seen it in my own environment of two people who were terminally ill, who stopped being terminally ill after the psychedelic experience. Reports of people who give up their IBS, for people who give up their migraine headaches. If I were a young person beginning to run a laboratory, I'd say, I'm going to see what the core systems are that these agents affect in the core organization of the brain and the body's homeostasis that may reset those things. We're not anywhere close to having a technology for that. Can we make people healthier by giving them a sense of inner safety that actually is based on a core biological safety system?